ladies and gentlemen, Michael B's and Sammy Boys and Barcodes and everybody else in the chat, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Just kidding. We're doing a stipulation draft right now. The stipulation is from none other than longtime supporter Josh VS. And Josh VS has instructed us to do a fixing is king stipulation. Take any two plus colored card you see, exceptions for fixing sources, land, signets, and power. All right, well, considering we're going to be multicolor. Oh, Katie, what's up, my love? Glad to see you back. Always, always a pleasure. I'm going to take Verdant Catacombs. Gonna take a bird and kind of come. What else we got here? Marari's Wake, Kaya, and Teferi. I will definitely lean towards a Teferi here. Which goes well with our Verdant Catacombs. Just kidding. I will take Big Tef. Was there a Mana Vault in the first pack? He said my name. <laughs> oh, man. I do have some Indian coming. Um, I ordered it. It's being delivered now. And it was courtesy of Relax and Sam himself. So that will be sweet. And I'm probably going to just put it on the table. I got to go get it. So there will be a point where I dip out for a second. I'll probably pause the video so you guys will never even know. I'll dip out. I'll grab my food. I'll come back. And we'll keep going. Some indie? You don't even know their name? Yeah, well, you know, it's, a, it's an informal relationship, you know? It's like, it's not a... It's not... It's not a big deal. It's okay. I say don't worry about it, you know? But of course you did mm, what you said. Time Twister, I don't care about you at all. Baleful Strix and Colagon's Command are both pretty sweet. I feel like Colagon's Command is pretty. Are you singing us the song from the SNL skit? Yes, but it's also actually a real song from Imogen Heap. It is not the SNL song. It actually exists as a song outside of SNL. As an OC fan from back in the day, I really like that. That, that skit was actually hilarious. Fixing first, I like. I don't, I don't consider Spiral of Canal better than either of these. I don't. I don't value the the fast lands. I guess is what they're called. I don't value them very high at all. I think they're actual. I think they're actual trash. Wow, you guys are all scumbags. I'm gonna take. Imogen is Bay. Katie is right. I'm getting a call. I'm gonna take this and then mute my mic. Hold on a second. Okay, I got to text my my address to a different number. And I think we're taking Badlands here because we can get it with our tomb and there's no gold cards anyway, so. But of course you did. What the fuck went to Did I just Did I send it the wrong number? Oh, it's the it's the area code was wrong. Oh man, this has been a Okay, we did it. Scrubland. That can also be gotten by a verdant catacombs. Taking all these lands. Gorgeous. Nobody is that animated on the phone. Buddy, I'm animated. Bro.
Taiga? Every land we've gotten so far can be fetched by Verdant Catacombs, which is pretty sweet. But also Golos in our, our gold deck. I think we're just taking the Golos here. Because we can still get a stomping ground. Mm. Nahiri, Hollowed Fountain. Interesting. Also, to be fair, Golos is a uh, two-plus color card. Hollowed Fountain or Nahiri? These are the questions. Okay, you have a call and have to mute your mic. We believe you. God, I feel like you don't. Dang. I feel like we want Hollowed Fountain with Teferi. I feel like any shock land is uh, any any land that can be fetched is just so high on my list of like things to take. Bloodbird Elf is pretty sweet here. Sacred Foundry deal. Mm, what you say? No, oh, that you only meant well, but of course you did. Oh, I like Akaya better than Marari's Wake for sure. Thank goodness. We don't have any fat daddies to even like ramp into here. Ooh, now I get a freebie. Um, Probably just Bitter Blossom, right? Yeah, let's Bitter Blossom. Also, hitting a, hitting a Bitter Blossom. Hitting any of these three off of Bloodbraid Elf so far is pretty good. Katie is busy setting up her Apple Watch. Beast with it? Oh, Kitchen Finks is gold. And actually, I'm still fine with hitting that dude off of Blood Braille as well. I have so many flowers growing. Bummed about these turn-up prices, though. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'll take Wear Tear for the sideboard. Oh, Lightning Helix. Don't hate that, either. Skabababadibadoom. Ba-doom, ba -doom, ba, -doom, ba, -doom, ba -doom. And then my mom. My mommy was my last pick. All right, so we're going to sort this a little bit differently here. We're going to put lands that can fetch things and lands that can get fetched. So Meyer actually gets four, uh, three... But Marsh Flats actually gets all four of our lands so far. Yeah, that's where I want to be. I do. I love a Huntmaster. I like it a Johnny too. Huntmaster or Johnny, guys? What's the verdict? I think a Johnny and I think Huntmaster will probably come back. <clears throat> Huntmaster always comes back. Oh, Renin Six in a deck that's likely going to have a bunch of fetch lands? Oh, yeah. That's the ticket. That's the sweet ticket. We do need some green lands, though. Thank you. Murbler, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I hope I didn't. <laughs> I hope too, buddy. I hope too. I can't believe I've done this. A relic or a lantern to be. Pretty choice. Skidoo ba doom. Da doom ba doom ba doom ba doom ba doom.
Oh, I like a Rakdos Signet. <clears throat> Especially in this deck when we're very heavy red and black. It's a solid Signet to hit. I mean, the alternative is this or this, and I don't think either one are better than this is actually fixing, so I'm going to take Rakdos Signet. Ooh, what do we got here? Scarab God. Scarab God, legit the best. God, Scarab God is so head and shoulders above every other god. God. Oh, go Gary Signet. Gary! Or do we want Celestia Signet? Both of these seem really good. Do you remember how you said words have meaning because we all agree with it? Well, I'm working with a recruiter to find a new job. During this process, she added my resume to reflect what the company is looking for. Well, let's kick back to me with a buzzword term that people use, but means the wrong thing. I even double-checked I was using the correct usage from the textbook. In the end, words may have meaning, but money talks and BS walks. Well, sure. Sure, but... I think we want Celestia Signet, because then we have... Yeah, and this also casts Kitchen Finks on its own. Eh, Needle Spires is fine. It's not what we're really looking for. I don't think we're gonna take it though because we can we can get a we can get a pick here because there's nothing gold in the pack. So I think we're just taking Council's Judgment. Mm, Rakdos, Edric, or Knight? I'm definitely going with Knight here. That seems real good. Assassin's Trophy came back? That's pretty wild. Maybe that Golgari signet comes back too. Our deck is really interesting right now. I'm the scat man. Skip a dip, 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 You guys know the scat man? Everybody knows the scat man. Huntmaster came back like a bro. I can't wait to see my call Beautiful Mind on the mana base. That was all the mathematical equations that were going on. I like Ancient Grudge for the sideboard. I also like Face Fetters a lot. We already have Wear Tear. I think we're just taking the Face Fetters. Uh, Bane Slayer is a choicey, a choicey lady. Stone Forge is probably the best pick there. We'll put you in the side. We got a nice little white deck going on over here. All right, Ancestral Recalls. What we open? That's fine. We get past the Soul Ring, and then we get past the Black Lotus. Okay. Starting next pick. Next, next pick. I think what this deck wants is more fixing. Like, we only have six lands right now, which is actually surprising because I don't think we've passed that many. We're going to take Dragonlord Atarka. It is the only gold card other than Progenitus, and that is not an option. I think Relic or uh, Chromatic Lantern would be fantastic, so. Look at all those colors on Progenitus. It's true. Progenitus, get in the house. Sheldock Isle. Vraska seems interesting, especially with Bitter Blossom, actually. kind of like Vraska. I do like Simic Signet as well, though, and it helps us cast these blue cards that we're otherwise pretty rough on. I 
I think it might be Signet too, and I bet the Vraska comes back. Oh, Arid Mesa. Yes, yes, yes. Arid Mesa also gets all of our lands right now, and we have Ren and Six, so. And there's no gold. There's only only Angress Rampage in that pack. So who even cares? Who even cares? I feel like it, we have no green fixing other than like Verdant Catacombs, which is super weird because we have a lot of green cards. I almost think Plateau is better just because we can get we can get it with all with with two of our lands. But Wandering Fumeral is a green card, is a a blue land. I mean, we do only have two blue cards, actually, so I think we're just taking the plateau. <clears throat> Alright, nothing here. It could just be it, it could just be questing beast, actually. And green just might be like our highest. We're not going to take triple black, gr blue, red bolus. I'm trying to limit my, my costs here. Karn seems fine. I, I agree with that. Oh my god, where's the green, dude? I do like Inferno Titan here, actually. I don't know if we need removal. We have Assassin's Trophy, Lightning Seal, Council's Judgment, Colagon's Command, Knight of Autumn, Face Fetters. Whereas, like, this is just a nice top-end card. I'm going to take the fat idiot. <gasps> Temple Garden. Oh, we can get it with all three of our lands. That's fucking perfect. Yes. Oh, Blood Crypt too? Oh, wow. That's real good to go with our Badlands. Oh, Progenitus came back? You guys like that I call him Progenitus? Progenitus. Living out your days in a... Oh, the Vraska came back? Oh, baby. Getting excited. I'm going to take the Karn out for now. Now we got 10 fixing lands. Oh, man. Razor Verge thinking? Actually, that's just fine. I'll play it reluctantly. Hey, guys. The Nickel Bulls came back. I don't know if we're playing it, though. It's a little ambitious. Eureka! Eureka's castle! Oh my god, I really wish this friggin' Adobe updater. Turn off all notifications for Creative Cloud. You put that B back in right now. Eureka's castle. Eureka. Oh, Terminus might have been the pick there. That's actually a good point. Oh, wow. This is it. Bitter Blossom and Vraska seems great. Oh, we can set Kitchen Finks to Vraska, too. Nicol Bolas seems real ambitious, guys. Um, do we just, I want to play 18 lands with three signets. Sword by color, it's literally going to be a bunch of individual rows.
Let's put the mana in first, then we'll figure out what we're doing. I'm going to clip this bad boy. Eight, very few blue. And we can't search for an island, and we have Signet and Hollowed Fountain. Here we go. Brilliant mind time, guys. They're all coming in. Okay. <clears throat> White. Shut up and take Ooh. my money. What's happening right now? One play the bolus buck for the children. Good gravy. Let's see how many how many uh I want to see how many sources we have first. Okay, so white sources we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine plus one signet. Nine plus one. It's a lot. Blue we have Iron Mesa. One, two, three, three. Three and a signet. Okay, black we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six and a signet. Red we have, geez, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a signet. Green we have Arid Mesa, yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, and two signets. Um, I need a bunch of basics too. <sighs> Honestly, I'm probably just gonna play bolus, guys. <sighs> and if we look here, we have the most red and seven, eight. So I'm going to say one here. Uh, we don't need any planes. <clears throat> we don't, I don't think we need any islands either. Six black, but if we bring in Bolas, I would add two. Green, we have seven. So I'd add one green. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I would Josh, I would play 18 lands, but the fact is like we have three signets, and our curve isn't that high. It mostly has two of these, and but it ends at five. Like I actually don't think we need 18 lands. Plus Ren and Six can get back fetch lands if we have them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm going to add one of each basic, and then two black, and then we'll just put Nicol Bolas in. One, one, two, one, one. That's exactly what I said. God, Magic Online, you know what's up. Now we're going to bring it up. I'm going to clip this bad boy. Okay, keep this bad boy up over here. Save it play it food is at my doorstep I mean, most decks in Vintage Cube are fair. Like, you have to get, like, one of ten different cards to be an unfair deck. I will definitely keep this hand. I feel like we just get Hollowed Fountain here and then we have all our colors. Shut up and take my money! Hey, man, how's it going? Jason, I don't even know who they... Who is Jason? Jason, thank you, man. Really appreciate it. <laughs> How is it going? 
Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, dude. That's a solid, solid Michael Scott gift as well. Uh oh, is he from Camp Crystal Lake? They always are. What is this? What are you doing here? You're gonna fiend me? Brutal. Why would you do that? Super Fritz, I'm on to you, buddy. I'm on to your shenanigans. <laughs> Drafting Wooberg is a bold strategy. I try to stick to less colors. Yeah, well, you know what? Fortune favors the bold, my dude. Take the Bloodbraid Elf. It's the best card in my hand, by far. What? Shut up and take my money. What? Lucky for you, I messed up. Jason equals mana traders. What? What does that even mean? What? Is this... What? Is that... What? Is that my sponsor, Mana Traders? Because that's amazing, if so. Lucky for you, I messed up. <laughs> oh, man. Mana Traders. Oh, man. That's amazing. Mana Traders is one of the sponsors of the stream, and uh, they have an awesome subscription service. Actually, use the promo code and the link in the description below for 20% off your first three months. Uh, that's literally how I play all of my uh, my decks on Magic Online. Standard, modern, pioneer. They're super awesome. And uh, a ton of the viewers have actually used them as a subscription service. And uh, works out really well. Jason, man, thank you so much. Mana Traders, that is. Mana Traders, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Mana Traders is good. Yeah, literally right in the right in the Oh, that was a that was a solid draw. I'm a fan of this guy. I even typed in code Frank 5. That's not how that works. All right, let's uh Katie, thank you so much for the resub, my love. Thank you. You are wonderful. And I hope you're enjoying your little Apple Watch. I did not mean to be condescending by saying little Apple Watch. I'm just going to kill this guy. Yeah, also worth noting that Mana Traders has been great to me since I started uh, working with them. So, great company, great guys at Mana Traders. So, definitely check them out for sure. Uh oh, they're searching. They're searching frantically. <laughs> oh, man. Also, there's, a, there's an awesome meme where they accidentally donated as Jason instead of Manitrader. So that's that's just that just made it worth it all on its own. I'm going to rate it for, do it. I'll take it. I'll take a good raid. All right, so we got Oh, the, the old double mock straw. Oh, an Ulamog in the graveyard. What's your chat symbol? Um, it's actually the you mean the you mean my subscriber badge? It's a Minecraft pig, if that's what you're referring to. Let's braid bloodily. That doesn't that doesn't make a thing. Look how fair our deck is. But that's okay. Let's not forget to play land. Guys, look how far off we are from casting a nickel bullets here. If we had an underground sea, that'd be nice. But it's not meant to be. I'm gonna go tap this island. And by not by tap, I mean like they tapped in a response? This doesn't tap it, so that's actually worse for you.
The dog. That's Hunter. That's my dog. Oh, reanimate. Okay. So they're going to reanimate this, but they know we have both of the... Well, face... Hmm. I don't... Huh. Okay. Okay. Well... What do they take here? They take like... 10? They're going to 7? This is wild. What if they're just getting Mesmeric Fiend back? I'm going to glitch until the simulation spits me out of it. That's fair. In the next 30 seconds, however many sub emotes we get, I will donate it. <laughs> Guys, put as many sub emotes in the chat as you can, dude. Oh my god, no one's going. This is, this is all... Okay, now we're doing it. Oh my god, come on. You guys are better than this. All right, they didn't do it? That's interesting. I'm going to hollowed fountain here. Okay, see now we're talking. Now you guys are on the Now you guys are on the job. How do we count How do we count this though? Uh let's tap you again. This <laughs> Oh, good gravy. I think they were like, I don't know if I want to reanimate for 10 here. Oh man, this is wild, dude. Actually, now we have black, black, blue, red, and another black if we get a swamp. So actually, we do have Nicol Bolas mana. Okay, so now they actually just can't even get Ulamog because then they die. I think they remembered I had face fetters and they were like, oh, wait. Oh, man. This chat might as well have been an emote only mode. <laughs> oh, it's all over now. Mods can't read that it's over. <laughs> oh, God. Are they just passing here? See, like, this is a deck trying to do unfair things with, like, reanimate Nulmog, but they're not doing it because of our fair deck. Which just. Shut up and take range. my money. Oh, Jason with the 86 Bones, man. You think emotes chat do better next time? <laughs> Hey, I'll still take it. You guys are great. Thank you so much for all the subs in the chat and, and for Jason from Mana Traders. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome, dude. Wow, that is super sweet, man. You guys are great. Sub emotes, like literal subscriber emotes. Not like sub as in like the, the specific sandwich emote. Or maybe, I don't, you know what? Okay, so they're at nine now. We're cracking this. I guess we just get a blood crypt here. Rakdos signet. So I just kill this thing again? <laughs> this is my life now? I just keep killing the Mesmeric Fiend? I mean, I guess it does get them off of... Uh, it does give their, their island back for whatever that good... For whatever good that does, but... Oh, we just win the game. All right, well, that's a thing. Jason and Manitraters, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you guys. So they're trying to reanimate. I wish we had a containment priest. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Can we get a meatball parm with mayo emote? No, that sounds disgusting. And I, I'd appreciate if you didn't support, if you didn't encourage Super Fritz this way. Um. Thank you. Gamma Set. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Actually, Wear Tear. They have two moxes. Let's just bring in Wear Tear. Oh, we also have Kaya, which is pretty nice.
Yeah, the funny thing about Mana Traders, and, and by funny I mean sweet, is that like I have yet to hear a bad thing about them. Everyone who uses the service actually really enjoys them. Also, we have Knight of Autumn, Colagon's Command, Kaya, like Assassin's Trophy, Council's Judgment. We have a ton of removal. Vraska, like all these things just kill Moxes. I don't think we need this. Oh, maybe maybe Avalanche Rider could be good. Um, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Boros Signet turns either one of these. Yeah, we're definitely keeping this. So we can use this, filter this into this, and then we have black, black, red, blue. And all we need is one more black source, and then we can actually just cast Nicol Bolas. Okay, well. Wow, they took our Rakdos Signet, dude. That's wild. This joke's on you, I got a Simic Signet. I don't think the joke is not really on them. The Rakdos Signet was definitely the glue holding this Nicol Bolas together. It's almost like they made us discard two cards. This guy. I mean, Plateau helps because that lets us use this for black, but we still need two more black sources. So. Sammy, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for, for hanging out and for, for the food support. Buried alive. Hmm. You just got rack dosed. Is that is that true? I do like an Arid Mesa. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're just going to Ulamog us next turn. Oh, they hit Ulamog Mesmeric Fiend? That's weird. I mean, we're just hoping we have to hit we have to hit something here. Yep, here we go. Nick Zoom. Yep. Hard to deal with. Council's Judgment one time. Face fetters as well. I'll take all the things. Let's get Sacred Foundry. We have a lot of answers. We could also hit Bloodbraid Elf. Okay. Guys, we're spinning the wheel here. Ugh. That does not do it. <laughs> Yikes. So you have black, black. We got up. Let's play plateau here. I mean, we're losing 20 of our cards. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yep, so long, deck. Council's Judgment's still in the deck. We do have to win in eight cards. That's not going to do it. All right. Ulamog is a hell of a drug. Oh, there it was. We were one card away. Actually, I do kind of like Avalanche Riders here. Take out Huntmaster instead. Nothing else really deals with uh, uh, an Ulamog. <laughs> so. I would love to play first. Uh, this is definitely a snapper. Or Kaya seems great against Ulamog, against, against reanimation. 
Worth waiting on the elf? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? Like, we were trying to hit an answer off of for, for Ulog. I mean, they could have just milled, like, all of our answers as well. Like, that was an, you know, the alternative, you know? Well, they're going to five. Okay. I mean, if they don't, the likelihood of hitting is higher, but if they do, the likelihood of hitting is zero, right? So I'd rather take a guaranteed percentage rather than the coin flip of, like, th that card doesn't exist in your deck anymore, you know? Um, Let's get a... Blah, 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 blah. We can't get any blue sources. We'll get a Temple Garden because I want to have a green source. Yeah, let's play... Rakdos. Sigarino. Oh, we should have played Celestia Signet because then next turn we can go... Actually, no, it still works, right? Yeah, we can go... Yeah, we can go 1, 2, Celestia Signet, activate Signet for the white, this would be the black, and then we can still play Kaya. So we're gonna play this. Filter that into there, use the green, play Kaya. Green Acres is the place to be. Shard, of course. Oh, they're just going to discard and animate immediately? That's fine. we got Council's Judgment. Nope, they did not do that. Actually, let's get rid of your Mock Sapphire. Yeah, Kai's ultimate is actually a surprisingly decent win condition. I agree with you. And she hit... Uh, oh, we're entombing. I see. I see. It's your boy. Do we zoom in? I mean, if we counsel judgment this guy, like, that's just game, right? Don't have pact. Oh, they did not. Let's get rid of exhum and chart a course. Is it twice as much? No. Deals damage to you because I remember cards. Ooh, nothing, huh? 
let's blood braid elf first one two uh three and four because now we have black green and oh, we don't have hmm. colorless yeah i guess the blue is just fine Man, Kitchen Finks again. Kaya can ultimate for eight here. That seems good. They keep trying to do stuff during their main phase, and then they're like, nah, JK. And I don't understand what's going on. Uh, this is not game. They have eight cards X. Oh, we can Colagons command them, can't we? Hmm. Uh, discard the card. Choose that. Remember that day we bone shredded our own Venser? Today is better than that day. That's true. That's true. Oh, good game. All right. Well, we are already doing better than we did previously, so. We're doing it. Ooh, we get to play first. Uh, this hand seems a little too slow, right? Oh, this is worse. I guess we're going to five. Yeah, all right. Tef can go. K command can go. I think Kai is actually just very, very good in certain matchups. Like if they have Mox, Sol Rings, Llanowar Elves. Oh man. Play a Jiraga Tree Speaker. They're not going to. It's too late. I mean, with a blood braid off, it's kind of like six. I'm just gonna plus. Come on, land. What's the best land we can hit here? Plateau, maybe, for blood braid off and kitchen finks and in front side. Oh, interesting. Nope, that's not. That's not good. Yeah. That's unfortunate because now they get a turn with Metal Worker. Yep. Wow, they have a Mox and a Sundering Titan. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. 
gonna scoop there because you just get to play fucking Sundering Titan on turn well four I guess but still you're destroying all of our lands so definitely bringing wear tear in hmm I still I still maybe to me like we have knight Kolagon's command council's judgment like we have a lot of things that just deal with it I mean that's just Meh. I feel some mulligan to five on the play, so I'm not going to feel too bad about it. Come on, Bitter Blossom. Yeah, they were holding the Mox. It's got a Blood Crypt. Fascinating. Alright. Well, that should slow him down a little bit. I mean, Vraska doesn't kill this, unfortunately, so... I mean, any land we get to play this guy and block. I guess if they pump it one, though, it's not great. Golos is pretty decent here. Sure. Missing two land drops, doing me dirty. You don't do anything here, and we can't cast you, and you don't really do anything either. So it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 damage. We're just going to go to round 3. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I feel like mulling to 5 and then like not hitting two land drops is pretty rough, so... This will keep. And if we hit a fetch land, boy, I'll tell you what. It's a stiff draft. That's the, I think the deck is great. We're just signeting here first. You spell pierce this? No. Okay. I was like, come on. Don't be the spell pierce guy. Instead, you're the ancient grudge guy. beautiful <sighs> 
Come on, Blackland. Come on, Marsh Flats, Arid Mesa, Verdant Catacomb one time. Do all, come on. Oh, just gorgeous. So long, little Moxie. See, that was good. That was solid value. Now we have two Planeswalkers and they have no Mox. It's good value. Super Fritz, this image is fucking disgusting. Did someone order this or did you just make it for the memes? Because that is disgusting, my dude. For those who don't know. Here, I'll just show you guys. I'll show you the image that Super Fritz posted. Because we have a Meatball Pepper Jack Mayo meme in this stream. This is a meatball pepper jack mayo sandwich. I hope, did you try it? Oh God, Marsh Flats, dude. There's no way someone ordered that exact thing. That's no chance. Oh, now we're online, boys. I don't even think I want to play Bloodbraid Elf here because if we hit like a removal spell like a council's judgment, it's just rough. So I'll just play a third planeswalker, I guess. Oh, and we get to exile our ancient grudge? That's value. That's gasoline. They ordered some veggies on but took the pig. There's no way. How is that even possible that they got pepper jack, meatball, and mayo? That's like hitting the subway lottery in terms of our memes. Oh, Golos. Well, well, well. See, now we can blood braid elf. Ugh. Extra mayo. <laughs> I want you to load that bad boy up. Let's get bloody. Racto Signet. Well, that's unfortunate. Shut up and take my money. What's happening right now? Some weirdo. Hey, why are you taking pictures of my sandwich? <laughs> oh, wow. Some weirdo's really mad. Okay, well, we're just going to pass here. I guess we could have attacked first and got some free damage in. Mayo in their tea? Well, that's vomitous. What is this clip affinity? <laughs> Hold on. You're gonna pull out a gravy? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Big old clump of mayonnaise come out. <laughs> and I was like, yes, that's the quantity we're talking about. I'm gonna spread my mayonnaise back on my sandwich. <laughs> I don't wanna lose any mayonnaise. <laughs> See? Oh god, it's too big. Wow. I don't want to lose any big days. Oh, they're channeling. Good grief. I guess they're going to cast whatever they channel. Wow, sometimes you just have three planeswalkers in a play and then they get to channel some big fat idiot. I don't want to lose any big days. <laughs> oh, Jesus. OK, 
Okay. I don't know what's happening. I don't want to lose any babies. <laughs> God, Mike's voice when he's like, I don't want to lose any babies. I don't know what's happening right now. Are they storming in our four colored Golos channel deck? Are they just trying to hit uh one, two, three, four? Are they just trying to hit Minds of Desire? I don't know. Magic's crazy. These pretzels are making me thirsty. That's a solid reference right there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to choose four fat Eldrazi's. I mean, if this stupid Bloodbraid Elf didn't hit this Rakdos Signet. What can you do? What the can you do? Oh, Banefire is hilarious. So they go one, two, three, and they can pay 18 life to kill us. Put two cards in the graveyard. I mean, we obviously put Regrowth Banefire in the graveyard, right? Because otherwise we die. So you can have Time Warp and Time Spiral. Because they don't kill us. So you gotta play Warp. But then you lose Channel. And then you can play Spiral. Sure. Because then we get a new hand too. Okay. Just going face? Yeah, that's fine. So they just lost the time warp. This hand is not great. I mean, they still have, they still have channel up, don't forget. Don't forget, guys. Don't sleep on that channel. I mean, hopefully they whiffed as badly as we did. Well, they played an island. I don't know what's going on. This is just taking forever. My Indian food smells so good in the background. Nerds, have a good night, buddy. Oh, just Hydroid Crassus for six. Okay. I mean, if they just top deck Banefire, we're just dead, right? It's just Channel Fireball. When I sleep on a channel, I usually wake up to a coin collector show at 4.15 a.m. Wow. Well, that's wild. Firebolt. Okay. I mean, are you storming here? And Mind's Desire. Five mana. Time Warp is what we're doing here. No, it's not what we're doing. Change their mind. Hope you guys are watching this. I don't know what's happening. Oh, see the song. Okay, you got it. 
You got it. Coalition Relic. Signet. Oh, there's a Banefire on top. Which is admittedly less scary when they don't have... Oh, no, it's frightening. <sighs> cool. Wow, man, that would have been amazing if we were just able to go, like, Vraska, kill this. Uh, Teferi, tuck this. A Johnny, shoot this. But they had Time Warp and Bane Fire after their Time Spiral, so we don't get to do those things. <laughs> Take Bolas out. I think he's just too hard to cast here. I will play first. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a green source. So I got a Vraska here. Ideally, we just top take Bitter Blossom. I think go Bitter Blossom, Vraska. That would be ideal. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're gonna be fusing, boys. Maybe one red, one white. Oh yeah, let's get temple. So red, white, play Badlands. Fuse them. Oh, good gravy. The three for one is real, guys. I hope it matters. Will it make a difference? Get them all. Put all your stuff in the trash can. Hmm. I need a blue source. Hmm. 
I'm gonna keep a green tap down in case their hand is like channel emrakul or some nonsense. Confluence. Okay. Well, that'll start doing some work. I hope. Can we get a blue? No, we can get a hollowed fountain. Courser and Time Warp. This time we're not going to do anything. Make sure we've used all these things. Mashed potatoes on the hot dogs is wild, man. That seems good. Next time we get to just nug all their lands. So next time we can get two, we get the ultimate two planeswalkers. Oh, we can ultimate all three actually. That's pretty funny. Eh, might as well play another land, right? One, two, three, four, five. So we can activate Golos, ultimate Golos, ultimate Vraska, ultimate Johnny, and ultimate Kaya. So we know one of your cards is Fiery Confluence. What are the other two? All right, time for the next game. I think that went well. That's not going to do it. Sure. Um, ship that. So I think we want like a scrub land here. So we have a black source and double white for the council's judgment. Yeah, it seems like when you don't get mana screwed, your games go well. I agree with you.
Fascinating. We have nothing to do here. All responsive things. Coca Cola Gons command. Well, we need some threats here. Oh boy. Heartbeat of spring is interesting, isn't it? <sighs> Wish I kept the wear tear now. <laughs> so we have what are our options to hit here that we can actually play on their turn literally just assassin's trophy so we can keep the green floating And that's pretty much it, actually. Yeah, the graveyard gets shuffled back in. Man, that's wild. Yeah, it takes away five mana, which could be relevant for Banefire. Especially with us being at 22. The funny thing is, I don't even know if they have a plan for what their gifts are giving. I think they're just going to try to find four cards. They have seven mana plus six mana, so they have 13 total mana.
I mean, Banefire Regrowth just has to go in the graveyard, right? Or do we not care about the Banefire? I don't think we care about Banefire or Thousand Year Storm. I think we want to give them those two. Let's put Turnabout and Regrowth in the graveyard. I mean, I'm sure they have a red in their hand. Because they have eight, you know, six, six cards. In response to cracking this, I'm actually going to kill their tear. So that they only have one red to work with. I mean, they're going to float a bunch of mana, which is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus five. They don't have nearly enough to bane fire us. And then I'm probably just going to have six because I can't do anything else. So I'm basically just at their mercy if you guys haven't done so be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons or follow and subscribe on twitch all those things help me out and you can check out manatraders.com who has been an awesome sponsor during this draft and in general for the past year and you can uh, use the link and promo code down in the description below to get 20 percent off the first three months of any subscription which is a great deal and um check out cool stuff inc every wednesday for new articles you can use promo code frank5 so they're at three is vintage cube back no it's just a trick wow yep that's pretty good Yeah, I guess we should have given them... I think we should have given them Banefire Turnabout, and then when they try to cast Turnabout, we kill the... Yep, now they have Banefire. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Kind of sucks, but still impressive. One, two, again, unfortunately. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Josh VS, thank you so much for the stip. Really appreciate it. I still think our deck was pretty good. Um, but, like, it's without knowing they have Primal Command in hand, like, there's no real way to, to know what to do. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. I'll see you guys next time.